pastor, there is no iota linking him to the crime that they are investigating. It is illegal, it is unconstitutional, it is what we say, the persecution of Christianity. Christianity now is really being attacked like the Roman Empire time. All this land you see here, the church has bought for cruelty on children. Which, which child is here? So really, the offenses being investigated are hot air. They have been created so that pastor, all the followers run away. But I'll tell them this. Christianity left Israel to this country because of persecution. The more they are trying to persecute Pastor Ezekiel, the more followers he's going to get. Yeah. We believe that Pastor should be released on, on Tuesday because tomorrow is a holiday, but he shall be in court to defend his rights and the rights as provided for in Article 32 of the Constitution that talks about the freedom of religion and it should not be mixed at all. The fact that some of, uh, some of the followers are prominent Kenyans does not make Pastor Ezekiel a criminal. Let us not criminalize success and blessings that have come through prayer and hard work and honesty and the integrity of the pastor. The growth of this church to where it is and honesty and the integrity of the pastor. The growth of this church to where it is is a clear manifestation that morals, integrity are the core to this church. Kwa hivyo, unavyo angalia shule iko pale ya ki internationali inapambana na zile shule marufu za Nairobi international schools ni shule marufu. In summary, tunachokiona hapa ni wivu. Ni wivu. Ni wivu. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya siku ya leo tunafuatilia mambo ya Pastor Ezekiel. Kile mimi naweza nikasema ni kwamba kama baba yake ya kiroho nimemuita faragani kukiwa hakuna mtu yeyote ni mimi na yeye nikamuuliza je mwanangu katika haya yote ambayo wanasema umeyafanya kwa sababu hatutaki aibu na hatutaki kashfa siuniambie ukweli kama kuna tone la ukweli lolote wa haya mambo pasta Ezekiel ameinua mikono juu akaniambia hakuna hata chembe ya ukweli wowote wa yale yote ambayo anasingiziwa na kile ameniambia cha mwisho ni ya kwamba kama judicial system ya Kenya ni fair watakuja kumwachilia lakini kama sio fair labda watajaribu kumsukuma zaidi lakini yeye yuko na amani in fact amenishangaza ya kwamba anawaombea wote ambao hawajui wamekoroga haya mambo wampige vita ni kwa maana amesema vita sio vyake vita ni Mungu atapigana akitumia mawakili na pia la mwisho kabisa amenituma ni ya kwamba wote ambao wanapenda ukweli wakazidi na kumuombea na waombee kanisa na pia akasema waombee serikali waombee majajis na waombee kila mtu asanteni Thank you.